And Joel, there is a flower that hangs by the restaurant door. It is an honor for a businesswoman who has been a prominent fixture in this community for decades. Tonight, the Bull City is mourning the loss of a Durham icon. Peggy Tapp, who co-founded Chicken Hut on Fayetteville Road, died Tuesday. She slipped away after a five-year battle with cancer on her 78th birthday. We sang happy birthday to her and I just held her hand and my aunt held her hand and, and it was a beautiful moment, man. Tapp's son, Trey, says his heart is broken after losing his best friend, who he considers the heart and soul behind Chicken Hut, what is believed to be Durham's longest serving black owned restaurant, a Bull City staple founded with her husband Claiborne in 1957 as the Chicken Box. Representative Mickey Mashaw, one of their first customers, says it was a dream come true for the couple who once operated the concession stand at his theater. He was the visionary and she was the one that put the nuts and bolts together. She's going to be missed. Tap was also known for being generous with her customers, giving away free hot meals to the hungry and people in need. Family and friends say she was committed and dedicated to serving Durham. Today, some customers visited the Chicken Hut to sign a memorial book. Others, like Chris Fisher, stopped by for a lunch plate in tribute to her. It's a loss, a tremendous loss. It's a second home, basically. She was just such a wonderful person. She worked every day, every, every day. day. So will the business stay for Yes, it will. Absolutely. Yes, it will. Everybody's family. So. With the help of them and with the help of God, we will continue to run this business and keep this business operating for another 60 plus years. So her legacy will continue and this business will keep going with the community's help. Funeral arrangements for Peggy Tapp have been set. Her funeral is Saturday at First Calvary Baptist Church here in Durham. The viewing starts at noon. Live in Durham, Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.